Hello and welcome to my next video tutorial on machine learning. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can install scikit-learn. In the previous session, uh, I have given an overview about machine learning. So in this session, we'll just look at how we can install scikit-learn, how we can set up the environment to implement machine learning, okay, and to try out different different models. So the key takeaway for this session would be uh, installing scikit-learn and getting started with IPython notebook or the Jupyter notebook which we'll be using, okay. Now, as I mentioned in my previous session, video session, that um, there are two uh, two different approach we can take. Uh, like in uh, in this entire video series, I'll be using Python and Python based uh, modules. And the other option is you can even uh, try it out with R. So either you can use R programming language or you can use Python. So uh, our session scope is Python. And in Python, we're using the scientific libraries like uh, SciPy, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. Then I'll be using IPython, which is a console for interactive Python. Or the other option is that uh, you install Anaconda distribution. So one way is like you can uh, use the packager for to install these all these package dependencies, these modules and dependencies that is listed down. Or you can simply install Anaconda distribution, which consists of all these libraries plus um, more than this as well so let's have a quick look at it let's see how we can install it so this uh, scikit-learn.org website and from here we can see the instructions to download as well so you see that uh, all the libraries all the packages we can install from here okay it, the instructions is given actually like how you can do it. So you can install scikit-learn just by using the pip install or else you can use some third party distributions as well. Okay. So if you see over here, this conda install scikit-learn or you can use pip install scikit-learn and uh, scikit-learn will require you to pre-install Python on your system. Okay. You should have Python installed on your system, Python, NumPy and SciPy. So these are the dependent libraries or modules in fact or else the easiest way to go about it is just get the anaconda distribution so that is what i have also done so let's click over here let's go to this uh, anaconda and from there we can download our os specific version okay like uh, i'm on a mac system if you are on a windows system you can download for windows okay if for windows you'll get it over here for mac I'll get it over here and for Linux I'll get it over here okay so let me get it for uh, Mac Mac version because my system is a Mac system so I'll just download this okay so I just simply click on download okay so I'll just skip this it is downloading so you can see over here it is downloading so we'll wait for it to download and then continue okay the rest of the process is very easy just click and go go to next 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 and that's all okay so now it's downloaded so i'll just open this in finder so this is the pkg pkg file so i'll just uh, click on it to install and i'll say continue then I'll, you can just read the license, the, all the informations, read me informations, then just continue. Then you can go through the software license agreement. Okay, then continue. Then you say agree. Okay, so you can choose here whether it will install for you only, for your user specific only, or you can install on a specific disk. Okay, so. Okay, uh, somehow my install for all user is disabled. Okay, I'll just say continue. Let it be for me only. Okay. So this uh, this will inform me how much uh, space it, it will take. And then, unless you don't want to custom change install location this thing, you can just say, simply say install. Okay. 
so I'll just install it so it will start installation and then this process will also go on for some time okay so we can wait for some time for this process to get completed and then this will get installed okay it has progressed uh, to a certain limit okay now it is installed okay so and it has given me the message the installation was completed successfully okay i'll just close it okay so it is asking me if you want to move the anaconda to install on the trash you can keep it or you can just say move to trash i want my hard disk to be neat and clean so some space i require so i am just move trash to the trash if you want you can keep it okay now after you install this we can close this okay we can close this and we can uh, just start anaconda navigator so just open this search and just type anaconda navigator and just select so it will start up anaconda navigator it's already starting up so it will uh, just take some time it won't take that much time okay okay i'll just say okay just check it you may have this checked on just check it off and or if you like to give the feedback then you can keep it on and just say okay fine so i'll be using jupyter lab which is a uh, sorry jupyter notebook okay which is an, an notebook uh, to run our uh, you know all the python commands and we'll see like what is the advantage of using this jupyter notebook so just say launch so it will start up the server okay it is starting up a local server okay now you see that there are folders over here from where we have started so all those folders it has listed down now you can start your you can see what are the running uh, from notebooks so they are at the moment there are no running notebooks okay so if you want you can just uh, start a new notebook of your own so let's let me create one new notebook on based on python okay so this is our jupyter notebook so in jupyter notebook we have got cell and this is a very handy tool for the data scientist especially for the data scientist like who are not so much into deep down into programming also so it is a very handy tool for them but if you if you want that you don't want you don't wish to use jupyter notebook and just use the python console or any python editor then you are most free to do so but you should have all those modules and dependencies that is required installed on your system so say for example if i say a is equal to say i take a list for example say i'll write cat say dog okay and say horse okay and this is from here i can run it okay and then in the next cell i can say print say a for example just run it so you'll get the output cat dog horse and if you say print so you can just it is like an interactive python you have a python in a browser so a and say the second item that is a1 so it should print dog so just run it okay so the, this is a very helpful and handy tool and we'll be uh, using uh, we'll be learning machine language we'll be looking at few models using this jupyter uh, notebook so this cell so let me just speak a little about this jupyter notebook some of the features though see these each are of these are cells okay see when the cell is not executed it will be blank whatever command you write till then it will be blank so now this is in edit mode so this green border shows that it is in edit mode and if you press escape then it will go to command mode this is command mode okay and then if you if you just move up arrow and down arrow so it will move from cell to cell depending on which direction you are moving it okay and say you want to insert one cell say if you want to insert one cell above then just uh, 
you need to select it and just uh, sorry let me just so let me come to command mode okay if you want to insert one cell above press a if you want to select one cell below then just come over here and make sure it is in the command mode not in the edit mode press b so it will insert one cell below and uh, you the order in which you execute the cell can be anything it's not necessary like in a uh, in any id or any other environment when we write a code say uh, java code or any other code and if you are using that uh, standard id then it always compiles uh, it always executes line by line right but here if you want you can execute this one first then this cell first so i can execute this one first and if you want you can even clear all the cells as well okay so there are other commands as well um, so all the commands you get from the menu okay which is self explanatory if you want to run all then you if you want to clear okay suppose i want to clear it all okay restart and clear output so it will clear all the output i can just say restart and clear output so it will take some time it has cleared okay so see it is no more there now suppose if i have not executed this okay and i am trying to execute this so it will return me an error why because this is not yet executed see this is blank and the order in which i am executing it it will get indexed in that order say this is one so now if i execute this okay see this is executed the second time now again i re execute this then should not give me error right because a is already assigned so see it is not giving me an error and if you want to delete the cell you can always delete it there is like you can cut paste delete so all these operations are there and if you need more you know shorthand for uh, you know short hash uh, sorry shortcut keys just press h and you'll get this help file okay so all these shortcuts are given over here keyboard shortcuts so you can refer to the help file then these all are working in the code code mode okay these are all code whatever we are running but we have got other options as well so one option worth noting is the markdown okay say for example i want to write some comment over here okay uh, say just below i above this so i just press a so above and here i don't want to write code i want to write markdown so in markdown i can just format the text it will be just be a textual con content and not an executable code the compiler will ignore that it will just the compiler will just format that okay so say for example i write um session 2 of machine learning okay then say for example next um, i can write simple text no formatting okay then i write ah uh, sorry suppose i want to write this way say installing scikit learn for example this will be in bullet points then jupyter notebook say for example okay uh, okay i if i run it so i don't see it coming as a heading okay so that means there is some mistake so okay okay i think i missed a space yeah it should be a space and when we run it then we see it as a heading and say if this simple text i want to make it bold then i can just add star star so these are the syntaxes that we need to know okay and then when we execute it so we see this is the heading this is bold and so on we can even embed html as well so there are lots of options as such uh let me show you one more thing uh the notebook notebook viewer which is an online viewer for your notebook okay so if you go to this site nbviewer.jupiter.org you'll see that uh, it opens up an nb viewer the notebook viewer so you can actually put your url over here your github url or if you've got any other url you can just put it over here say i'll just put mine github url for a simple page that i have so just say go and it will open up your notebook okay so if you don't have <coughs> jupiter installed in your system 
this Jupyter Notebook installing system, you can even use uh, this NVWare as well. But the only thing is it will display the static file, but if there is something dynamic, then you need to copy the code locally on your system. Okay, so that's all uh, guys. Thanks very much for watching my video and I'll soon come up with my next series, uh, next video for this series of machine learning. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.